All right, on sign language tonight, we have Meresha Owiti. Now, Kenya observed 60 years of independence during the Madaraka Day celebrations held in Embu today. President William Ruto used the celebrations to drum up support for controversial house levy proposal. Now, the head of state equated the push to have employed Kenyans taxed for hustlers to get affordable housing with the fight for freedom. Now, the Azimio threatening to go back to demos for or over the finance bill in 2023 the president steered clear of the Azimio demands instead, saying he had changed the national conversation from hard politics. KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Kariuki attended the FET and filed this report. A public discourse is raging as a result of the Finance Bill 2023, and this could be causing sleepless nights to President William Ruto. The contents from the bill could not miss from the President's Madaraka Day speech at Moy Stadium, Embu County. Ruto rallying Kenyans to support the proposals. It is our collective responsibility to think about the 5 million young people in Kenya who today walk our streets, walk our villages, in our townships, in our markets, and yet they do not have an opportunity to deploy their energy, their knowledge, their education in making a difference in their lives and making a difference in our nation. The president welcomed the debate the bill has generated, insisting that it was a wake-up call for institutions to be more accountable. The conversation we have today in Kenya is different. I did promise the country three years ago that we are going to change the conversation, that the conversation is not going to be any more about leaders. It is going to be about citizens. We want to our leaders to continue in steadfast as they support all the legislative measures that your government has proposed in the National Assembly to allow this country to get away from public debt and find our own development and the current expansion. Though indirectly, the president and his deputy took a swipe at the opposition, saying divisive politics will not be tolerated. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa urging the president to ignore his political detractors. Who step forward to vote in the last election so that we, as the people of Kenya, can maintain our democratic credentials as a nation that is democratic, as a nation that is built on the firm foundation of multi party democracy. And now it is our opportunity. All of us as leaders in government and in the opposition to work together towards making our nation great. We want to urge all Kenyans to allow our president an opportunity to steer this country back to economic prosperity. The election that brought the president to power also found a place in the speech while revisiting last year's general election at the backdrop of calls by the opposition to review the electoral body iebc the president said the elections were handled in a more credible manner at the same time the president has promised that his administration is keen on addressing the high cost of living with president william ruto maintaining the support on several of the proposals in the finance bill 2023 the tabling of the same bill is promising a battle of the titans between kenya kwanza and the azimio once it is tabled in the national assembly daniel karaoke ktn news embu county now today's 